behalf of Ladies Inama, we present you with this token of our appreciation for all the hard work that you have done for the community of Grenada and beyond. On the behalf of Bailey's Funeral Home, we'd like to present this token to you for all your hard work you have been given to the country. Thank you. I'm sure many of you will agree that the services provided by these two ununiformed, unappointed traffic assistants should not go unnoticed. Voluntarily and almost on a daily basis, Benedict John and Huge Joseph assist school children in crossing the streets safely to get to the nearby schools and ensure the smooth flow of traffic coming from different directions. On Wednesday, the management and staff at Bailey's Funeral Home saw it quite fitting to reward those two individuals for their selfless service to the public. They were both presented with gift baskets that should brighten their Christmas holidays. Here on the carnage, um, about to do a presentation to two people who my staff decided that they're going to give them a token of appreciation. What is happening here is just blessings flowing from God to me, to them, to their, and it moves on to someone else. That's all is going on here. Um, we just want to give the Christmas joy and the Christmas cheer to these two gentlemen who um, stand in the sun every day, day after day, and call traffic. Um, and we just want to let them know we appreciate what they have been doing for their community in Grenada. Benedict John is usually positioned on the top of Cemetery Hill in St. George, an area that is blind to motorists coming from opposite directions. He has been doing this for the past two or more years. He said he is thankful for the gesture. The access, yeah, the road for the Christian Church School and to New York, what I have to do. They want to give me a good chance in my hand and the, the work I do is good for them too. On the other hand, Huge Joseph, referred to as the strict warden, takes up duty during the early morning rush hour and stays throughout the day, directing traffic at the intersection of St. John's and Upper Church Streets in the capital. Today, this is what he expressed in recognition of his hard work. I can understand it is, it is a, a warm world she's welcome to the I to um, dedicate myself to serve the individuals because trafficking it helps the transaction more frequently and it prevent accident and it has one to move to and fro safely. I love coming in. Yeah, I'm dedicated to the children. Thank you. Both John and Joseph are grateful to members of the public who would drop them tips as they traverse daily. Funeral director Mr. Clinton Bailey is hoping that other businesses will follow the trend in doing likewise, that of helping others. If, if we can help two people in the community, we have done a lot. If every business helped two people, alas, for the past couple of years, um, we've been helping other people. One has since died, um, and may his soul rest in peace. But this is my wonderful staff, and they were blessed, and they decided to bless two other people. So we, I want to congratulate the staff on a wonderful job for the year and their thought it's a thought that count. Season greetings from Bailey's Funeral Home. Christina John, GBN News.